hello guys and warm welcome back to linda's home and style and i know it's been a minute guys but uh in today's video we just want to do a quick um explained shower routine uh also how you can layer your sprays or your scents to make sure like you smell like a gully throughout the day and then we also want to make some butter milk chicken this is air fried chicken and of course since we are in the holiday season we also want to make some pilau without using tomato paste because i usually see like most of the recipes on a tomato paste so guys please watch don't go away yeah just make sure you stay here and learn a few things mostly about smelling good you want to smell like a gully you want to smell so nice and fresh yeah and get some compliments when you're out there so guys please uh, remember to subscribe and uh, happy holidays to you and your families <music> hello hello guys and welcome back to linda's home and style and again it's been so long since i posted a video but yeah it's life guys and i just want to say i miss you so much and uh, i just miss interacting with you so today uh in this video i just want to share a few things i bought for my skincare routine i've added and it's lupa zumi isha and uh, also i want to share how uh you make sure like you smell good the whole day like uh, the procedure from like maybe showering um layering your scents whatever whatever yeah i just want to share that with you yeah just to make sure like uh, if you're a girl you really stand out and you look beautiful and you also smell good because sometimes when it's a patam dim i'm a pigaluku like she's so pretty and everything but the sweat or the smell that is coming from her it's not as pretty so i just want to share my routine of why how i ensure i am smelling nice throughout the day and you know yeah i also want to share that then uh we'll cook of course you know i'm a foodie so cooking is everything to me and yeah i just want to share a pilau recipe that we are going to cook without adding tomato paste yeah and will achieve that brown color because sometimes you know we tell ourselves that uh, the tomato paste is what helps us to get that pilau color mm -mm. we are going to do that today to make some pilau without the tomato paste we see how it goes and then we also want to make some chicken because you know it's the holiday season what we work home yeah so we need like uh, some interesting meals for them so yeah guys welcome if it's your first time here today you're coming across this channel Please make sure you subscribe or consider subscribing and then just hit the notification button so that when we post, <laughs> the time we post, you also get to be a part of the first people who are watching. Yeah, guys. So I appreciate you so much and uh, let's get into the video. So uh, I just needed uh, some sunscreen, basically. Uh, yeah, sunscreen. So the ones I had... Uh, we're finished. Let me just post this video kidogo and go bring them more is cool like the brand I was using before So guys, um, these are the sunscreen that I was using before Here, I think this is very common clam to and uh, if you want to get legit uh, Let's say skincare. I'll be sharing where you can get them because maybe I'm so big on legit I'll rather spend more but get the legit stuff like the original original stuff so and uh this one and this one so zimeisha kabisa like literally zimeisha so at a lonely kwa nafanya fanyivi ndo nipate ya ku toka nayo like ya kupaka ndo nitoke morning yeah because we bila sunscreen <laughs> we, we we won't go together so today i decided to visit this uh, shop it's called badger badger beauty and I really like her skin. I think I I follow her on uh, on Facebook, and I really really love her skin. That is why I've decided Leo, actually, the huko, we just see what she can offer me today. So, um, this is the sunscreen. It's Korean, of course. It's Korean. I don't know if it's called Kos or something. <laughs> me, I'm not big on the names. Okay, Baba. I'm not big on the names, but I just look for legit stuff. So we just open together. You see? And uh, guys, excuse for the noise, but I wear my clothes. 
and you know how apartments in Akaanga. So it's it's like this, and then it's sealed kabisa. We'll pop it when we want to use it in the morning. It's kind of like um, five, uh, 50 ml. It's kind of small. So I'll be adding. Because of course, I usually want to have like two sunscreen at a go. Ndo mozeki ish at least they have some backup. And then my vitamin C was completely finished. So since I don't have a lot of issues on my skin, she recommended this one. Okay, this is just vitamin C with the ascorbic acid. It's 15% vitamin C. So it looks like that. And this one, guys, you use in the morning with your moisturizer and sunscreen. This one you use in the morning. And then I decided since I have a little bit of uh, spots in my skin, I add this one. This one is uh, the Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. This one here. I think Mayona, like it's, 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 it's like it's out there. It's so hyped and it's out there and it works. Because uh, me, before I buy something, I usually tell you I research and check the reviews of something before I buy it. And you can see, guys, it's like it's legit, non ablative silo and everything. So, huh, this one was kind of pricey. I think it was going for 3000 and something. This one was like 2K. And then the vitamin C was like 2K. And then Nimesema, Nimesema squeezy. We look for what is uh, not so expensive because uh, we want to save and also we want to like to see finike sana when we are buying these uh, skincare products. So it looks like this. I'm really excited about this, guys. I, I won't lie. I'm so excited. I really wanted to get it like a long time ago, but yeah. I think we can to apatangi like the the original stuff. So being in Nairobi really helps. Yeah, so that one. And uh, you just like press, eh? In your press too, in a talker. So this one I'll be using at night when I come from work. You just shower, uh, apply moisturizer, and with this, because this one has niacinamide, and uh, it's written it helps to correct dark spots, brighten skin with plant derived squalene to lock in moisture for glowing skin all day. And guys, me nowadays, me is taking skin and glow. I just want to feel nice, nearly one beer. I just want to feel nice, my skin, uh, and also smell nice and look nice. You know, the like the big thing for me right now. Yeah, so uh, next, let me just arrange and gather my showering products and my skincare products and my oils and some of the perfumes that I got that I have. Some are going to come because in is Asia, so I'm like, kind of like restocking. Yeah, so I just want to share that, like the the sharing process and everything. You you see how you can ensure you smell good like a girl all day, like yeah. yeah. So guys, I just want to share my shower routine, and I'm not doing it practically, guys. But I just want to share the steps that you can use to make sure that you're so clean and you smell so nice. So first of all, what I use is a bar soap. And a bar soap, you can just find any soap. So for me, currently, I usually like, like using like uh, the Asante soaps or, uh, yeah. So after I've washed myself with the Asante soap or even Dove bar soap, yeah. And this is the, the uh, cloth I use. Thank you to know exfoliate. It really exfoliates so in the kitumutu miyakuoga and then after like uh, I've washed myself with the basso or the baya whichever you get eh? I usually go in with a shower gel and I have various types of shower gels that I use but this one is my favorite nonape misha I have to restock um, I really love this it smells really really nice like you smell like bubbles and bubble gum and it's just a nice scent so this one is my favorite scent yeah we'll be restocking on it 
yeah and uh, from the same company i also have this uh, butter butter buttermilk and lemon i don't like the smell of it so much so but yeah so we'll be he's talking on that so after you've showered with the bar soap you go in again with this and your shower gels i have several so penny corner here your hobby and then i have this uh St. Ives one yeah Squeeze it, don't use Dove, because uh, I found out like Dove equal a lot of uh, counterfeit stuff in the market, like the Dove shower gel. So I, for currently, I'm avoiding to use it, but I know where to get the legit one at Amdiot. That is where I get like, like the original Dove, like Elena Jua. Uh, it's it's like it's good. It's the real thing. See counterfeit. So if you want to get like if you're a fan of Dove, there is where you go. So after that, this is for my body. After the shower gel, if you, it's your day to exfoliate, I usually exfoliate with this scrub here. Yeah, I usually love this stray hat. Though it's expensive, like two thousand, um, two thousand and something, but it will do you justice. It will do your skin justice. After you've showered, would you scrub Nike too when you you are now rinsing your your body and or your skin and say you feel it's soft like it's usually so soft and nice so i think you can get do i'll restock with this i think just to add like two or three or also just one then i find another brand like this is a uk or us stuff this is to go poor for me is this to reason when i could buy easy to car easy to boa sita to me to the work on my skin so um for my face i usually just wash this this one and again this one if you want to get the original one look for um am diote for you to get this this stuff like the original original ones oh like what is this yeah and i also scrub my face with this one i just restock on all these things at once because they, they tend to, to wish at the same time as well. So this is what I use for my face. And then after that, I just come in with this for my intimate girly place. I usually just uh, like three squeezes, one, two, three. Then you wash for like 15 seconds or something. Yeah, 15 seconds. And then you rinse and then you're good to go. And then this one is a sensitive is a sensitive forming wash work on different types yeah work on a normal work on a but me like sensitive because that is a sensitive place so there's no need for you to use like the normal or whatever just get the sensitive one yeah or the cooling one whichever so after that you rinse off vizuri kabla maji hikauke kwa mwili kabisa the next thing you do is come with a body oil body oil yeah, and you lather it all over your body, do he body oil. It can be any type. It can be this one. It can be ile Vaseline. Actually, I love their Vaseline so much. So if you pesa ime pungua, yeah. So you just go by what you can afford at the moment. Life is quite pressure. Yeah. So you just use this on your body, and then. As that one in India, I usually go to my face now. And uh, for my face, I usually start with a moisturizer. And I use this uh, snail one. Again, it's Korean. I can't take a book with Again, these things are expensive. No, no. I have two. I have this one and the car bottle one. So the car bottle one, I usually use it at night. But he moved to me. Morning. Do you need let's say vitamin C, um, sunscreen and whatever before. Now I start on my makeup. like an actual thing, like literally. I'll do it naturally, like live or whichever. I'll record it so that I just share with you guys how I go about my makeup. Unless when you see kazini mapemasana, that is when I'll do it. So after that, you just put your sunscreen then you start doing your makeup yeah so when you in a kaka in kwa skin i now come in with my lotions 
Sikuzi napenda Vaseline. Sijui niko na Vaseline mbapo sana. Niko mpaka na ile ya yellow, but I'm just showing you a few. Like you come in with your lotion, then unapaka lotion kila mahali. Una make sure lotion imeingia. Imeingia kabisa. Ikishaingia sasa, it's now time to now umesha dress up, umesha umesha paka makeup yako. It's now the time to ensure you smell nice like kutoka kwa hao uko poa uko uko sawa yani you smell sweet nilisahau this one here this one uh, it's a roll on basically it's a dio you can use nivea and this one is like 66700 there you can use this one you can use any that you want make sure by the way to come hizo kona zo mbili niko na hii ya ganya so this one after you shower make sure you also Use it so that outer look as sweat. And like this one gives you a 48 hour protection. I think that is why it's kind of pricey. Yeah, but I love it. Yeah. So after that, now you come back to your fragrance, to your scents. And hapa sasa ndiyo, tegama skill. So the first thing you need to do is to have body oils. And body oils you can get from the mini scents. Actually, that is where I get mine from uh, uh, Instagram mini scents uh, even when i was in nakuru but i went to me and i'm i'm a wells fargo yeah so uh, so guys i just want to share with you like uh some of the oils i have and uh, the oils are what i use first before going in with my perfume that is called layering like vlunanza mpaka maliza that is what is called layering so remember uh umogana shawajeli kona can i scent Ume, umejipaka lotion yiniko maybe shea butter or vanilla like it forms the basis for your scents now for your actual scents so as i was saying i have uh, several uh, scents and they got i get them from mini scents kenya and uh, this one is baccarat akimanzemi i love this like uh, you see this one imeisha Imeisha, like a big bottle. Then I went to Dubois and got like a smaller one. It's somewhere, it's somewhere. I didn't like, like, uh, it wasn't giving me, it wasn't lasting long. That is what I can say. So today I think I have ordered from the lady, I ordered, I got this one. I have ordered he na kasprengine, but I don't know if I'll be sharing it. Uh, guys, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know if I'll get time to share those two two bottles of spray that I'm getting. But yeah, I really love Bakar Bakarouge, Bakarat, Bakarat, Bakarouge, Rouge Five Forty. Yeah. So um, these are some of the scents I have. Currently, I love this poison, hypnotic poison. Manze, I love this. I'm going to buy like the actual actual now, like the actual spray yeah because this is the oil i love i love i love so i have like four oils four currently four oils so what i do first is uh i come in with after the lotion now i come in with the oil then i'll place i'll place it here i'll place it here i'll place it here i'll place it here i'll place on my shoulder on the other shoulder then on my neck and anywhere else that you feel that <laughs> but that is the basis of now my actual scent and then for my sprays actually i love combining i love uh, like clearing them so um if i'm going to use uh, a baka rouge here's the scent right so we've gone in with the scent already and um We'll come in with the Baccarouge spray and then again here, 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 and here, here. The actual spray. Now since I'm layering, this is the first spray I'm, I usually use. I have several guys, but uh, I'll just show you with this too. And then I come in with Hamra. Okay, I love Hamra. Man, these things make you look so, make you smell so rich and elegant and expensive. Yeah, so and it actually, it's actually men who will notice, not even women will tell you, hey, you look poor. So, after that, also come in with the Alhambra, and this one is so it's cinnamony. Yeah, let me just say it's cinnamony. So, it's 
smells it smells nice but it can be a little bit overbearing for other people yeah so not me to kidogo because the projection is quite quite big it's quite something so again you just go like one two three four one two two three four so those are eight 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 in total eight yeah so that is what i do then um on my jacket again i'll spray i'll spray like just to make sure like the scent in a car throughout the day and i'm telling you guys by the time you're going back home so that is what i do and another spray that or a scent that i really love is nabras it's nabras nabras will get you compliments like gosh so creamy so it's like so vanilla it's like vanilla cream I unapaka tu kidogo. Actually, pia inaisha. And this one is pricey. It's like six, seven k. So, I will restock it at the end of January when the guys have already gone to school. Uh, when they relax in school, like when you've done most of your budget for school, that is when I'll think of uh, restocking this one. Or someone can gift me for for Christmas. I don't know. So the other scents are in the in the bedroom, but I also love this. I usually combine it with bakaruj sometimes. I usually love layering my scents. Muambia skumoja, muse ma skumoja when I get time, I like do like a, uh, an actual shower routine. Do to tafanya tuna mkono amakamugu. Yeah, see a body, see a kuji expose, and then I just show you like practically now how i go in with the oil i go in with the lotion i go in with the with the oil with, with the with the, this scented oils then the sprays the makeup yeah and how we, we go out yeah or <laughs> how, how we go to work yeah so i'll be sharing with you that one later when i get the time i think from january it up one a little of time eh? yeah so I'll be sharing with that with you. So size weekly, just make the chicken. Yeah, the chicken, you want to first steam it in uh, the instant pot or the pressure pot. If you don't have the instant pot, yeah, you can just say the pressure pot. And then we'll put it in an air fryer to cook. That is what I want to share with you. Just to give you some ideas for what you can make during these long holidays. What you want to enjoy, kill them to home, what you enjoy before january comes and everyone now is going to school yeah so that is what you're going to do next so guys by evening my sprays had arrived and i got to of course the rouge 540 the baccarat was a replacement of the other one then this one this jazab gold was uh, a new scent that i was adding to my collection and then again these uh, arabic latafa perfumes if you want to get the authentic ones or raya you can get them from zuda perfume or zuda fragrances on instagram that is where i get my latafa or arabic perfumes from and then her customer service is uh, right is okay is good and then she delivers within a very short time yeah so you can check her out and then uh, give her some business and promote her so this one is the Baka Rat, and this one is my favorite scent, as you guys know. He's so problematic. He's such a romantic and fair, and every day with him is magic. He can be so poetic. His way with words is dramatic. It's classic, and I just can get. So guys, by now I know you've had enough of the skincare and uh, perfumes. Uh, stories so it's now time to cook and here i was unwrapping my chicken so that i can wash it and cut it into small pieces first
is of course after chopping my chicken into small pieces it was now time to like clean up the surface and uh, put my marinade and of course i had to try royco spices for the first time so we are going in with some paprika some uh, garlic and i think uh the other new thing i've seen about the royco spice kuna ile meandikwa uh, ni wet fry na dry fry something like that yeah and of course if you're making chicken how kosi kuweka mixed herbs manze um, for me when you put uh, mixed herbs in chicken it's uh it's it's like it really hits home so of course we're gonna put some buttermilk yoni maziwa lala and of course some salt and uh, tomato paste uh, the oyster sauce ilipasuka when i was um uh, uh gathering my ingredients to make this um uh, chicken so to like a soy sauce so guys a trick i learned before you air fry your chicken you can steam it a bit and for this i used my instant pot of course you put the rack in pour a little bit of water then place your chicken to like a uh, steam or uh, yeah just steam it for like 8 minutes or so just to make sure the, like, the flavors are mingi and then alafu imekuwa soft vizuri before now air frying it okay it's so she's baby again of the way he rhymes with it's baby again not gonna lie i kind of like the he's a lap away over the top but it is ever and you live for it So hapo mbele guys you have seen me opening the vent for the pressure to be released and then the good thing I love about this instant pot is that it can't open when the pressure is still too much in the pot yeah so it, that is a safety uh, precaution that I really love about the instant pot yeah so after that uh, I set up my air fryer and today we are going to use the ninja double basket air fryer and then uh, if you've been uh, following me or uh, watching my videos you're going to realize that I have like two air fryers the other one is called a healthy grill and then the difference of this and the other one is that uh, this one is a double basket the other one is um, just a regular um, air fryer but uh, the major difference is that this one can uh, max crisps crisp max crisp your food and the other one can't so uh, when you max crisping your food the heat is uh, quite high and that is the function that i used to make this air fried chicken so within like 8 minutes the chicken is done and it's really really crispy and you can even see the colors are right and giving Yeah, guys the chicken is ready and then uh, the major difference again between this uh, air fryer and the other one that i have is that uh, this one can cook two different things at the same time and uh, also you can match it and cook let's say like if you're using the same heat for the for whatever things you're cooking it can also cook uh them at the same time so basically you can make chicken on the other side and uh, make chips on this side So here is the chicken and I just uh, garnished it with the uh, dania coriander because I didn't have chives na joko Nairobi mtu ana kitchen garden so yeah and again sijui kama kunyu ni kama kwetu when you cook such stuff eh, my boys eat it even before the ugali is ready sijui kama pia kunyu ni kama hivyo but yeah it was a really really yummy meal eh? So here we going to make uh, 
pilau and this is a very simple pilau recipe like it doesn't have a lot of ingredients so basically what you need is a ginger garlic onion pilau masala your nyama and your rice so make sure your rice is of good quality like for this one we use the sunrise basmati rice just to make sure like you getting the perfect results when it's coming to pilau and then with this recipe i didn't put tomato paste but we still achieved the, the brown color and the flavors were giving like the real real pilau like ilia coast So guys, one thing about me is that I never grate like ginger and garlic like manually. I'll rather cut the onion, but he, you just have to blend it. Then if you also want to get like the perfect results, just blend it. It becomes a very smooth paste. So here of course i had to use my instant pot and then i must say i think this is one of the most used gadgets in my home so yeah some uh, onion and oil make sure you've cooked your onion vizuri in metan color before you add your ginger and garlic paste because it tends to stick on the sufuria ama on the bottom of the pan he must have checked it twice mistletoe and champagne or pour it on christmas morning everything on your So guys, another secret to making great pilau is the pilau spice you're going to use. So for me, of course, I have to use tropical heat pilau masala. That is my go-to every time. So you just make it like a heat kidogo. Then you add in your meat. Because uh, if you're using a pressure pot, like in a kunganele sate function. So if you leave your pilau masala to cook for a long period itakuwa imeungua and then you add in your salt you add in your water and rice gonna get myself inside i'm gonna close all of my blinds hurry to right and work and hope you'll finally leave my mind but you're still dancing in the air still feel your hands run through my hair i try and occupy my mind but i can't hide it's too soon it's too fast i try to fight it hoping that it At this point you just uh, add in water and uh, not a lot of water like uh, if you're using a pressure pot like one cup of rice is equivalent to one cup of water and then you're gonna set it on the rice function and uh, basically cover and within a very short time you'll have very nice pilau ile moja moja Built it fast, I can't deny it, expect it. 
So of course guys you know pilau hayezi lika without kachumbari so here is me preparing some kachumbari the pilau was ready and then uh, this instant pot like uh, beeps when uh, the time for cooking is up and you can also choose to keep your food warm or uh, just to remove it so yeah you can see the pilau and uh, you just like mix mix kidogo yeah just to get everything going nezona nyama nyama ni nyingi mimi napenda nyama i keep saying that i love meat so much and then for this pilau i also added avocado yeah when you decide to eat a good meal go out of your way and make sure like it may hit home so that is why i added the avocado and uh, the kachumbari and you can see the color is giving and it's just a sweet meal so guys here we've come to the end of the video and sijuka matutakuwa na video ingine hii mwaka but happy holidays